Hey, Music Community, Jeff here again. Now, after uh, another one of our CD things, but after I finally cut up the stragglers in my C, uh, C through A part two of that, I'm gonna move on now to the next section and see we're gonna go up to up through CH. There's still quite a few bands in here, so trying to break it down to keep it shorter. So let's jump right into this. Again, this is just for those of you who are just joining us, just my CD collection. You know, we talk about vinyl a lot in the vinyl community, and there are a lot of people out there that still buy a lot of CDs, and I'm included. I do say I buy things, usually lean towards buying them on vinyl first, but I still have, at this point in my junction, more than mm, quite a few more CDs in my collection than I do vinyl records. It's catching up, but I'm not there yet. I mean, I've got probably a thousand more CDs than I do vinyl records. So anyway, I should weed through some of these and... Uh, get out the ones i don't know should i get rid of the ones i already got on vinyl because i've been buying a lot of the same stuff or uh i have been leaning towards not really rebuying stuff on vinyl that i already have on cd because it can get crazy it's crazy i tell you but let's get into this so we picked up we lost, left off last time with ca bands it's bands at ca now we're into in this case we're starting with ce cell dweller i have this on vinyl but yeah love this album love this band um, was big big into Circle of Dust, which we will get to in the CIs. But uh, same guy behind Circle of Dust later went on to do Cell Dweller. It's a little slightly different music style. He still does Cell Dweller. He occasionally still has gotten back to doing Circle of Dust, which is definitely more industrial metal. This is definitely similar industrial type stuff. A lot of programming, but it is more on the, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of times it crosses into what I feel like a Circle of Dust. But it's very more, I think, more... Uh, dance rave type stuff it's a little more beady like that without all the heavy guitars a little more electronica anyway great stuff like I said I do have that on vinyl it was also recently reissued on vinyl again in a big three volume edition with all kinds of bonus tracks but I had not bought that yet um, Cell Dweller from Black Star Remix now I it's it, it's hard to keep up with some of the cell dweller stuff because he'll put out an album and then he releases the tracks to the masses who then remix tweak with play with and they send it back to him and then he'll put out albums of his songs remixed by other people out there and it's really hard sometimes to tell you know an album a new album from a remix sometimes that you know it says remix a lot of times but um, I have most all of his stuff on um digital because it's easy to pick that stuff up there but don't have a lot of his stuff on cd i thought i had more i think i have more on vinyl actually two or three on vinyl and only two on cd um yeah but lots and lots of stuff out there lots of singles lots of, you know he's one of those ones that releases a new single like every month and then eventually puts it out as an album. But a lot of the stuff is more digital and not so much physical. Those are the ones I have. I don't even have up on a Black Star in physical. Just the remixes that I picked up at some point. Anyway, moving on. Chaotic Resemblance Nazarites. Um, they're a Christian band. Of course, kind of a real big throwback to the 80s. But a little more modern. They went a little more modern. Their early stuff was like, oh look. One of those new wave of melodic metal bands throwing back to the 80s and they still have that feel um but anyway they're you know moving on their early stuff uh, os fox from striper helped with uh, you know was involved in some of the production of their earlier stuff this i think is their most recent i'm missing a couple but i won't actually i've only got a couple so i'm missing quite a few that is their like most recent and uh this is like their they had a couple before this this is like their first full one and i think this is the one where os fox was involved um I have, I think, most of their stuff digitally, but don't have physical CDs. So there you go. And I don't think any of their stuff's been put out on vinyl that I'm aware of, or I would have bought it. All right, Chagall Guevara. Um, I did a big thing about this not too, not, well, maybe more than a year ago, because this finally got reissued on vinyl. They had a Kickstarter problem pro program and uh, to reissue, a, to put out a live album by the band. One-off band. Back in the 90s, alternative rock, um, super group of four or five guys from various other bands who got together and put out this. They had a song on the tw tw Twister soundtrack. There was a song on one of the soundtrack movie, movie soundtracks back in the days. With, I, don't, uh, I forget what it was. And they did a live concert and recorded it, but never released it. So the Kickstarter released it. It went way over what they had budgeted. I mean, they raised so much more money. So the band went in and got 
a reissue of the vinyl of this and they put out another a handful of new songs and they raised so much money that they got back together and did a concert in Tennessee if you paid for that situation so great stuff um, Steve Taylor is the singer for this band love Steve Taylor have so much almost all of his solo stuff so he was one of the main draws to this for me great stuff alternative stuff and you know is a little more readily available now all right chariot this is a anthology or it's a couple of their uh history lessons a cup it says a complete anthology of chariot i'm not so sure about that it's got a couple of their main demos on this remastered and everything you know great stuff christian hard rock band from florida i uh, used to contact and, and communicate with them back in the day which is why this is a demo cd i put together for my own demo tapes it's got the same amount of songs on here but i believe that there were some other takes and stuff on here from demo one demo two unreleased demo two stuff like that so there's probably some duplicate songs on here that are not on that anthology but the anthology includes the two main releases this may just be some additional demos i've never compared them to see if i have how many different tracks all right charlotte moving into this one of those bands uh from the 90s i believe who you know blip on the screen didn't make it you know one of those bands as music was changing and eonian records reissued their stuff absolutely phenomenal band this is the second charlotte release and a lot of the songs appeared on the earlier charlotte release that eonian records did but i think these are different versions there's there's and there's more so they released this years ago and then they came back and released this more recently and uh I know some of the songs are the same, but I, I, I don't think they're identical recordings. So, two from Charlotte. I haven't delved into what made them different. All right, moving into Chastain, In an Outrage. There are um, a couple different versions of a lot of different Chastain albums where they got heavier versions, remixes, things like that. I don't think I have as many of those. Um, I may have the vinyl of this. Uh, anyway. Chastain, great band. Uh, the early stuff had Leather Leon on vocals. The newer stuff has, you know, a different female, which I'm now totally drawing a blank on. He's always had female singers with uh, Kate French. Always had female singers. She went on to do some other bands too, but uh, Chastain, the band, has always been a female-fronted band, whereas other bands that David Chastain's been in, CJSS and some of the other bands, you know, were male-fronted. So slightly different thing, but he's always put out phenomenal stuff. Awesome guitar shredder, great songwriter, great vocalist, great stuff. Um, in Dementia, I think there's another, there's a couple of versions of this out there that are heavier mixes, lighter mixes, whatever. So anyway, um, this I believe, yeah, this was the first one with Kate, uh, Six Society. Um, and she's also, well, she didn't sing with the blues band he did, but she was on the cover. Um, yeah. Um, and I think I've got, I don't know if there's any that I'm missing. I have to go back and look because I've always been a big Chastain fan. Always bought their stuff. And there's Leather. This was one of, I think, her last albums for those who dare. But she is back and has done recent albums. They've done a couple, some recent stuff recently with Leather. So great stuff that I don't have on CD. Ruler of the Wasteland. A lot of these older ones that were on like Shrapnel Records back in the day uh, have been seeing reissues on vinyl recently. So uh seventh of never i believe i have most of these on vinyl the voice of the cult i think that one that one definitely was one of the reissues i believe and then this is a questionable one um this is where I, you know mystery of illusions where i discovered them and honestly back in the day i didn't even realize that she was a female i didn't really have any names on here this cd i bought a while back and it's got bonus tracks it's got some stuff from uh, david's band earlier spike um, and then David later, I've been in, I've communicated with him many times over the years, but uh, I mentioned this to him and he said that this is a bootleg that they never authorized. And I wasn't aware of that, didn't buy it with that intent, bought it somewhere on a site back in the day. And um, yeah, and I think there is a, another version that they did officially release out there and I don't know why I didn't buy it, but this one's got bonus tracks, so I have to keep that. All right, now, then David Chastain, so that's Chastain, the band, but then David Chastain puts out a lot of instrumental uh, stuff on his own. So this is one of his instrument albums, Rock Solid Guitar, and his styles on here goes from everywhere from shredding to he's done some acoustic stuff. So um, it's all over the place, and some of the times, like this one, Acoustic Visions, and he shreds on the acoustic guitar too. Some great songs. 
and there's a lot more that I have not picked up. Um, this is a more of a band, and I stuck it in here, I guess, because of the time, uh, because of where it fits. But Freeform, uh, the Cincinnati Improvisational Group, Freeform, Free For All. And that's a trio, and uh, it's got, uh, that's bass, okay, so I think it's, yeah, it's still instrumental, but it's, um, this was like a live album. I don't know if they've gotten anything beyond this. It was just kind of fun stuff with them. a bunch of guys jamming on that. So, next Planet Pre, please, another instrumental jamming type session. Um, and this is another live album with David Chastain and Michael Harris. Michael Harris is another guitar shredder. I have a couple of his albums. Um, he was on Trap. He was on the same label that David did. Another guitar hero type stuff. And the two of them got together with some of the guys from David's band and other bands. And they put out this live album of just dual guitar shredding greatness. Love that. Um, Elegant Seduction. <sighs> Phenomenal album. I need this on vinyl. It's on my wish list. Absolutely one of my two, three, three or four favorite instrumental albums. This one, uh, phenomenal. This one is the one that absolutely is a must-have. I still don't have it on vinyl. Within the Heat, probably, yeah. These early days were just near perfection in my book. And this one, uh, this one, wow, instrumental variations. These three are the trifecta, the trilogy of amazement for me of David Chastain's instrumental stuff, all of which I need on vinyl. Um, yeah, moving on. Chevelle, the Best Buy exclusive. There was something that Chevelle was, you know, big back in the day, and um, I have a few of their albums. But there was something about it. It seems like either one of the guys is from this area or there was something about them that made them more popular in my Hampton Roads area here. But anyway, this is the Best Buy exclusive with uh, contains a code, blah, 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 blah. People always trying to get the exclusives on stuff. Um, and then here's their other one of their other albums. Kind of, you know, got burned out. This is one of the earlier 90s bands that I got into. Um, wonder what's next. And that's about it. I kind of got burned out. They're still, I believe, still around. But kind of got burned out with a lot of that stuff and didn't... Uh, didn't keep up with them over the years since then. All right, Chicken Foot, Chicken Foot 3. Of course, a super group with Sammy Hagar and Joe Satriani. And, you know, it's just, you got to check it out. Michael Anthony, uh, totally drawing a blank on the guy from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, I feel so stupid. Um, you know the guy. Looks like Will Ferrell. Ha ha, that's a big joke. Anyway, um, the drummer. So, yeah, Chicken Foot. Love this band, you know. Don't know what their status is now because he went on to kind of make the circle, which is him and Michael Anthony and Jason Bonham and his other guitar player. And then recently, Sammy Hagar did a concert with Joe Satriani. It was still part of the circle. Had Jason Bonham on drums and Michael Anthony, but then it had Joe Satriani. So he's kind of like mixing it. But you know, the Chicken Foot stuff is great. The Chicken Foot 1 album, there really was no 2, but there's a 1 and a 3. Then there's a best of live. One album is best of, one album is live. It's two CD set that came out a while back. There is a couple new songs on here. So then I therefore had to buy it. That in the live album. Um, I have the first two on vinyl. I don't know. I don't think this was ever on vinyl. Uh, they have a live album that came out a while back on CD. I don't know if they have any other. I think I've got both of the ones on vinyl they did. Okay, anyway. Christ Function. Regardless of the name, it's not really a Christian band. Um, this is similar to the Ionian type stuff, whereas this is a different label. But a lot of unreleased bands from yesteryear, and this is one of them. Uh, I don't know. These are all mostly overseas bands. It's on it's on No Dust Records and others. And so these are, uh, it's a series that they've got that had a bunch of releases. And I picked them all up. And I don't know a whole lot about the band, but every band has a different... Well, these are actually, this is actually a U.S. band. they got a little flag there. But a lot of the bands are from overseas. So, again, more like unreleased or low-released stuff. All right, moving in. Ulf Christensen, Entertainer Soldiers. Ulf Christensen is the singer for Jerusalem. One of my, you know, just a great uh, rockin', hard rockin' Christian band from back in the 80s. He did a bunch of solo stuff over the years. Tends to be a little more on the mellower side. And that's what this is here. That's one of them. And then you did this one. Uh, the Lifestyles from Above. Love his stuff. It's just the mellower side of Ulf. There's some edgier, poppier stuff on there. 
In my dreams, my favorite. This is a CDR that I had paid a service to. Took the, they took my album and they did a really good clean bounce over. Album that's never been on CD that I'm aware of, unless I'll later release it in Sweden that I just don't know about. But that does definitely deserves to be reissued. I have the vinyl. It's it's readily available still, um, but never, as far as I know, on a CD reissue release back in the day. Because this is like '82. This is early in the Jerusalem catalog before they even really broke big in the u.s this was what it, and it's it's poppy and it's not as mellow as his later solo albums it's kind of in that middle of the road there's some pop there's some uh, stuff that's a little on the rockier side so it's kind of like a little jerusalem light um quirky at times but absolutely love this album and would love to see an official re release of that on cd um chosen stranger this is a compilation of all of their demos a band that I, w I was friends with Russ and them, well, mostly Russ, the singer, back in the day. I used to talk to him on the phone all the time. Um, and they, you know, put out a bunch of self-released, high-quality cassettes. They had a couple songs, I, at least one or two, appear on some compilation albums. But never got signed, never did a whole lot beyond that. And so years later, Rocks Records has went back and they have pulled together all of their demos, even one that... I never seem to have, and their last one actually, and uh, and put it all together in an anthology. So I love the stuff where there's bands that release a lot of custom release stuff back in the day. I love to see them pull them together now and put together compilations like that. So that's it. C H is where we're at. Next we're gonna jump into C I. That's it for this one though. I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Rock on and rock hard. <laughs>